Okay, one in all. Looking good, looking good. Let's check this is all up and running. Looking good, brilliant. Right, morning all. Welcome to uh, your Saturday treat, a bit of a bogus session, <laughs> Boff Yoga. Um, and there's going to be two versions to this, uh, one using these mini bands if you've got one, and the other one just uh, a bodyweight version. So all this does is just brings it all down a bit, we do a lot of hard work, high impact stuff, you know, weights and jumping around. Uh, and this will just help with your flexibility, your stretching, because we know everybody's a lazy stretcher, because it's quite uncomfortable. Bit boring but actually this makes it a little bit um, more interesting well, I hope so anyway <laughs> okay so as with everything we do you need, do need to do a warm-up even though this is a stretch session so we just want to get the heart pumping blood flowing um, muscles warm so then they stretch better uh, and they get more out of it so just to start our warm-up so our time is all good to go so just nice easy jogging on the spot we're not going to do a full warm-up because I'm pretty sure most of you will be inside as well, so you'll be pretty warm anyway. Okay, so we're just going through some of the moves. And actually, some of the moves we do are part of this uh, boga session. So just a nice, easy jog. Again, all these uh, warm-up drills we did for 30 seconds. And like I said, just to get everything warm and ready to go. And jumping jacks. Have you had a good Friday? And obviously it's Saturday and Jason was doing boff this morning. You could tell because the weather's minging. <laughs> okay, next one we do is leg swings. Just swing it out to the front. kick through, then when we do this just twist across with the upper body, twist across, okay next thing we're going to do is reverse lunge and reach, okay this is one of our moves we do in this session but on this one it's literally just a st one second stretch, change, push the hips through, so you're stretching out your hip flexors. This is Biff today as well. Right, indoor fitness. A bit soggy for uh, Boga. Next one we do squat and twist. Big squat, twist, twist to both sides. Not quite blockbusters, is it? Our Saturday morning treat. If you do that next Saturday, one of our showtime sessions next Saturday. Uh, any requests? Let us know. Okay, step and reach. Uh, big stretch up. Again, this is one of our moves. If you do the body weight version. stretch up and then back to jogging we're only going to do a few more of these so a nice steady jog so again just warming everything up just bringing the heart rate up a bit getting your breathing everything ready to go Next one, do jumpy jacks and shoulder press. Just warming up these shoulders. Mm. 
So you've got whale song seeding out tonight. Bit of yoga, bit of whale song. Pushing up as the feet go out. Okay, this time forward lunge twist. <sighs> Wouldn't want to be a whale. Can't do press ups, can they? Might be big, good at swimming, but you can't do press ups. <sighs> That's good. Twist across. And uh, next one, our hamstring stretch and reach. Let you scoop down, scoop up, change legs. If you're doing a normal hamstring stretch, reach down, reach up, reach, reach. Ah, that's good. Big stretch down, big stretch up. And just one more of these to do into the press up position. Drop the hips. Lift the hips, push the heels into the floor. And press up. Stretch through the abs. Stretch through the back of the legs. Press up. Now we lift the hips, then push the heels into the floor. And press up. Okay, so big circles with the arms. Like I said, we don't have to do a massive warm up in this because you're probably inside. It's more about stretching than uh, uh, stretch out through the chest as well. Then hit. Uh. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. So we're doing our um, two versions one with mini bands and one without. I'll explain each exercise before we start. And some of them are the same anyway, so it's not that complicated. For me anyway. So what we're going to do is you work for one minute or, or stretch out for a minute. Okay, rest for 30 seconds while I explain the next one. Or just carry on or start the next one when you want. If you want to do it for a little bit longer. So there's seven moves to do. We hold them for a minute. We'll do them for a minute and then rest for 30 seconds. Okay, so our first one. So if you're doing a bodyweight version, you're going to do this hero press up and ab stretch. So from this position here, sink back. I put my feet on the floor, push the hips into the floor, come forwards, and stretch through the sun. So lift up, sink back. Okay, so that's your one if you're doing a bodyweight version. Okay, if you're using a mini band, we're going to do this version. Put the mini band around the feet. Let's do this in socks rather than trainers, by the way. Okay, we do one squat, four marches, or six marches, okay? Let's go. So, squat, one, two, three, four, five, six, and squat. Okay, so when we do this, you bring the foot forward. So the leg is at 90 degrees, okay? Don't leave the foot underneath here. Foot forward. And then squat. Okay, so maybe if you're doing this body weight, you haven't got a band, you're doing that ab stretch. Sit back on the heels, come forwards. Big squat. Drive that knee up. So what we're going to do, most of these, we work one bit and then stretch it when we're using the mini bands. So we've got 10 more seconds. And squat. And rest. Okay, so for everybody doing this one, we're going to lunge and reach. You might be doing a warm up, but step back. Reach up nice and high, breathe and exhale twice. Remember the hand goes up and back. I'm going to use the mini bands to make this a little bit harder or put a bit more work through the upper body. 
pull the band apart, and then do your lunge. Remember the big emphasis here is to stretch through the hip flexors. So step backwards, reach up. So for this, I want to really emphasize this stretch. So I put my knee down, reach up as high as you can, push the hips through, squeeze your glutes. And change. That's good. What is it? If you're not used to working indoors, I am boiling. It is redders. <laughs> You've only just started. So reach up high with the hands. Like I said, this mini band is just going to put a bit more work through the shoulders. So it's a bit more of a workout as well. Okay, our next one is our press up position, step and reach. Okay, so again, as we do in a warm up, when we do the step, you push the hips into the floor to stretch out through the groin. Exhale twice, reach up with the hand, exhale twice, change side. Throw in a press up if you want. So from here, foot to the hand, push the hips into the floor. Reach up. And change. So step. And we're pushing the hips into the floor, stretch out through the groin. Reach up. And change. Step, push the hips in, reach, and back. There's two stretches going on here. Our groin stretch and upper body stretch. Big reach. Don't have to do these press ups. I just like to do press ups because I can, I'm not a whale. <laughs> okay. And either carry on with that or rest. So, our next one, our body weight version, is this hamstring stretch. So, you reach and then reach up. This time, stretching through the hamstrings, stretching through the abs. This time, we're going to squat and kick out to the sides, okay? So get a mini band around the feet. And from here, squat. Six. One. And squat. So what we're doing now is working this bit, and then we're going to stretch it. So try and stay upright, try not to lean too much. Just work it out against the resistance of the band. Step shoulder width apart. Let's step in too close. So do this here. Okay, I'm doing six. Do four, five, or six. So just trying to work these outer hips here. Let's do that squat in between. That's good. So I'm down to five. Really feeling this work here. And next one, I'll be carrying on with that. Our next one is stretching out the hips. Now we've just worked in with these mini bands. So this time we're going to bring the leg underneath the body to 90 degrees, sink down with your body weight, and you're stretching here. So you've just worked here, and now we're going to do some big stretches on it. So from the press up position, you want your knee 90 degrees, okay? Leg 90 degrees, not up here, okay? So we're trying to hit, hit this hip. So you sink. Exhale twice, up, and change sides. So dropping your own body weight on this hip should be a really nice stretch. Head up, just to 90 degrees, remember? We want to hit the hips. If you bring the leg up here, the knee up here, you can stretch your glutes, and we'll do that in a bit. And up, well, I like 
body stretch. And again, drop in your own body weight. Find a sweet spot, just move up and down. Find where it stretches the most. Okay, so if you don't have a bent mini band, we're doing this wide stretch. Okay, then drop, reach, come through. When you come out of this position here, keep pushing the hands back. Okay, with your mini bands, these go around the ankles. Ankles, not cankles. Okay, this time we're going to kick back. So we're going to work the glutes. So six. And the other side, one, two, three. So stay upright and kicking back from the hips, okay? So again, we're trying to hit in here. So again, we're gonna work here, then stretch here. So kick back, try and stay upright. I don't know where to put your hands, do you? On your hips, maybe. And the other side, six, three, three more. Again, from this field, just kick back. Try and keep the feet shoulder width apart, within shoulder width apart. Kick back from the hip, so don't bend the leg. Not a big move, okay? And this side. Three, four, five, six. Excellent. So this one is our pigeon pose, or racing pigeon pose, as we like to call it. This is a bit quicker. So this side, bring the knee right underneath the chest and we stretch it the glutes. So like I said, we kick back, worked here, now we're going to stretch here. Okay, so from this position, knee right underneath the chest. You can either stay up, sink into your stretch, or go down, sink into your stretch. Whichever you find more comfortable. Exhale twice. And do these press-ups in between. Okay, the most important thing here, or the big important thing, is stretch out the glutes, try and keep everything in line. So your head, neck, spine, all in line. So just looking in the same line as your back's going. So you don't try and look up or look down. Everything's neutral. Up. Then one. And check. Change, big stretch through the glutes, so right in here. The piriformis stretch. Two exhales every time. And then we're... there you go, that's one circuit done. Then just rest, and we're going to start again. Okay, so we're back to our hero, hero press up and ab stretch and squat and march. So six marches, okay, and one squat. So this time I'm going to do the body weight version and I'll explain how to do the mini band version. Okay, so mini bands, remember six marches, drive the knee up, bring the knee foot, foot forward. So in this position, don't leave the knee under the foot underneath. So you want to be here. So march up, drive up through the hips. So again, we'll work here and then we'll stretch here. It's like it's planned, isn't it? It's amazing. Okay, so that's the uh, mini band version. This is our body weight version. So I'll do your one this time. Let's go. So from the press up position, stretch out through the abs. Exhale twice, sit back. Push the upper body into the floor. And then come forward. Six 
Right. You're trying to push your hands into the floor. Sink with the upper body and this back straight. Obviously this bit here is just stretching out with the abs. Make sure it's stretching here, not compressing here, okay? So you're no discomfort in your lower back. Into here, I'm now gonna push my hands into the floor, forearms into the floor, upper body into the floor. And come through. So again, everything's in line. Let me do this. Okay, so next one, lunge and reach. Remember, if you've got your mini band, you want to work through the upper body. Both hands up in the air, nice and high. Lean, uh, so reach back, don't lean back, stay upright. So no mini bands, one arm. Reach up nice and high. Change leg. So again, like I said before, I put my knee down because I really want to emphasize this stretch in this hip flexor. All this time we're sitting down, I've been watching telly doing work, sat at the desk, your hip flexors get shortened. That restricts your stride length. Restricts your mobility and can cause loads of problems in your glutes and lower back. It's always good to do this one. Let me up. Reaching up and back with the hand. Same arm, same leg, so as long as possible on one side. And you're pushing the hips through and squeezing the glutes at the same time. You should feel this here, not in your quads, in this bit here. It's like a big bang. Big reach up. Exhale twice, and then switch sides. Again, you can keep the knee up if you want to actually do some work through the legs. The emphasis is on the stretches here, okay? Really push the hips through. Instead of leaning back, push your hips through. Okay. Okay, so our next one, row, step, and reach. So in the press up position, step and reach. Okay, so this is safe for everybody. <clears throat> so as we're doing our warm-ups, step, we we'll push the hips into the floor for two exhales. Reach. And change sides. <clears throat> Optional push-up. Look at the hand. And change. Um, step, try and get the foot close to the hand, on the outside of the hand, push the hips into the floor, exhale twice, reach up, look at the hand, jazz hands, Janice, jazz hands, and change. Reach. Step. Reach and change. Let's finish the move. And I'm ready for the next one. Okay, so this time with your mini bands. Okay, kicking out to the sides. Remember four, five, or six. Try and stop within shoulder width apart, mini bands go around the ankles. Kick out six times, one squat. So we're doing our hamstring stretch and reach. So non mini banders. Dogs go mental. So reach. Reach up. So remember on this, as if you were doing a normal hamstring stretch, sink back, reach. And reach up. Stretch down, sink it back, big stretch through the back of the thighs, both feet flat on the floor. And scoop up. Remember, if you're on those mini bands, we're doing those side kicks and a squat. And as you're doing this, stretch and reach. Stretch. And we 
reach. On this one, every time you exhale, try and reach a little bit higher and lower. Okay, so our next one is our hip stretch. So if you're using a mini band, we've done this side kick. So we've worked here, and now we're going to stretch here. So remember in that press up position, knee to 90 degrees. So it should be across here. Okay, stretching out this hip. So the foot looks up, knee looks up, stretching that hip. So we start straight away if you want. So legs to 90 degrees, sink down. And switch. That's good. You're doing 40 weight. And again, find the sweet spot. You might even need to move up, down, forwards, back. Just mess around until you find the best bit that stretches that hip. That's the one. That's the one. Right there. And next. Another two breaths. Optional press up. I just like doing that. Kind of flows, doesn't it? And the other side. Finish the move. Okay, so if you've got your mini band, this time we go around the ankles. And maybe you're doing your kickback. So four, five, or six on each leg. Then one squat. Okay. And we're doing our wide, squ wide squat stance. Stretching out through the back of the legs. Then exhale. Reach. Drop. Reach with the hands. Push through. So stretch. Drop and push the hands back as you stand up. So stretch. Drop. Reach and push. Get my knuckles on the floor. Neanderthal. Stretch. Drop, reach, and push through. So maybe you're doing those kickbacks if you're using the mini band. So you're going to work the glutes, and then we're going to stretch the glutes. Finish the move. And next. So next one, our racing pigeon pose. Let me see, I've got a proper dab on in here. It is redders. I bet the heating's on, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Brilliant. Okay, so this time I'm doing our glute stretch. So I'll pigeon pose, knee right underneath the chest. And lower yourself down either this way. Or you can do this staying up. Again, it's just finding out which one gives you the best stretch. For me, I find this one. And again, you should be feeling it right in here. It's a great stretch. Sink into it so I can sink right back into this now. And you'll always find you're more flexible on one side than the other. So if you're right handed, you'll be right side dominant. So your right side will be more muscular, less flexible. So you nearly always find a stretch easier on your dominant side. Because it's going to be tighter. And rest. Big use there. That's why you walk around the desert in circles, isn't it? Because you're with the dominant on one side. I don't know if it's true, but it's feasible, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to go back to mini bands. Okay. So in fact, 
because we don't have to do stretches at the end and a full warm up. And we're going to do this four times. You can obviously do it three or four times. So I'm going to do two of each. So I'm going to do the mini band one next and then the body weight one after that. You can obviously do two, uh, three or four of them. It's up to you. Got nothing else to do. <laughs> can't go out, we can go out, but don't go out, but stay in. But don't go out. Okay. Okay, so our mini band in March. Only because I enjoy this as well. Okay, so our first one is our mini band in March. Uh, remember, if you're doing a body weight version, it's our hero press up. So sink back, then come forward, stretch out through the abs. Here we go. So our six marches. Uh, so four, uh, four or six, even it up to six and squat. So again, we're going to work here and stretch here. And to bring that knee forwards, remember if you haven't got a mini band, you're doing that hero stretch and abs, oh, sorry, hero press up and ab stretch. And sink. Drive that knee up. So you're now feeling this work now. If you're using a mini band, it is a bit of a workout. So work and stretch, work and stretch. So I stretch, flex and stretch. I start to make a bit through here and then rest. So our next one, you can start this straight away. You keep this. So our single arm, if you're body weight, reverse lunge reach. If you want to make use of the mini bands, because we've got them, both hands up. Remember both versions, hip foot, knee down, push the hips through. Stay upright, don't lean back, but push the hips through. Exhale twice. So here we go. And check. Big stretch up. I feel this working through my shoulders as well. Funny enough, we're going to stretch that out in a minute, aren't we? When we do our press up, step, and reach. Big reach up. Hands go up as high as they can. See as long as possible on that side. Squeeze the glutes, push the hips through. Big stretch through that hip flexor. And rest. So our next one is our press up position, step and reach. Need some air. So remember into the press up position, push the hips into the floor to stretch out through the groin. Reach over the hand to stretch out, open up the upper body. Okay, so everyone does the same on this one. A step. Reach. And change over. That optional press up. I get his foot on the outside of the hand, as close to the hand as you can get it. Push the hips into the floor. Big stretch. So I put my knee down for this. So again, I want to emphasize the stretch, okay? Big reach. And change sides. Finish the move. And back up. Excellent. Okay, so 
If you've not got a mini band, then we go back to this one, the reach, two breaths, two breaths at the top, stretching out for the hamstrings and the abs, and we're doing our side kicks. So mini band around the ankles, uh, sorry, around the feet this time. So kicking out to the side, four, five, or six. Other side, then squat. Three, four, five. Feet within, shoulder width apart. Big deep squat, keep everything in line. One. So again, working here. And we're gonna stretch there next. All planned. Big new stretch. Squat, big squat. Three, four, five. That's really working now. One, two, three, four, five. It's a funny egg, isn't it? If you're doing this, it's a funny egg. So a few seconds, I'm gonna do them on both sides. uncomfortable but it works it's working okay so our next one we've worked here and you stretch out through the hamstrings we're going to stretch out through the hips okay so remember bringing the knee to 90 degrees bring it across the body stretching the hip on the underneath side on the bottom so from here press up position knee to 90 degrees sink into it and squat Sink. Next one. That's good, keep going. Ninety degrees. Sink into this. Yeah, huh? stretch through those hips. And rest. Breeze is nice, isn't it? I asked you that as if you could feel it. <laughs> or just talking to myself. Okay, this time we're on mini bands, this time around the ankles. And we're doing our kickbacks. So remember, it's not a big, big move. It's kickback using the resistance of the band. Four, five, or six. Working from the hips. But don't bend the knee, okay? Don't bend the knee, kick back with it from the hips. So really gets into the glutes. Both sides, a good deep squat. Adjust your band. Try and keep your feet shoulder width apart. Try and stay upright as best you can. You are gonna have to lean a little bit. Tight through the middle, okay? Engage your abs when you do these. So what I mean by engage your abs is not <clears throat> it's just hold them. So you breathe in, gently hold them, okay? So you're aware of doing it. So if you just let yourself sag, it makes you slouch. So if you just stay up tall, hold your stomach muscles, and put you in a much better body position on all of these. I probably should have said that at the start, shouldn't I? <sighs> and again, so we've worked the glutes. Now we're going to stretch glutes, so we're going to do our pigeon pose stretch. Okay, so remember this time, knee right up underneath the chest, sink into it. Exhale twice. So we can do this one of two ways, either all the way down here. Or stay up, sink into it. Start early on this one because it's good. Get a few extra moves in. <sighs> Next 
in that 30 seconds just to work on my multitasking, trying to explain two things. I've got nobody to correct me. I'm on my own. No Julia setting me straight. <laughs> Knee right underneath the chest, sink into your stretch, right in the glutes here. Yeah, sink into this. And rest. Okay, so that's the three lots done. That's what we normally do. But because we do it, I've done this, one with the in, one without the band. If you are going to stay and do this next one, yeah, it's about nine minutes long. Try don't use the mini band, okay? Because obviously mini band's doing a lot of work. Just do the body weight version, which I'm going to do. Then that way it'll help you stretch out rather than work and leave you kind of worked. Because the main emphasis is stretching. But you can use mini band if you want. I'll tell you what they are. But if you can, don't use it, okay? And just do the full stretches. Like I said, we normally do three of these, but it's Saturday. Fancy doing another one. <laughs> So we've done two of each. It's my OCD. I have to do two of each. Um, if you are leaving us now, we'll do this morning. Hopefully see you soon. And uh, yeah, tomorrow morning, nine o'clock for more hit. Otherwise, uh, we're going for this one. So if you're using a mini band, we're doing marches. If you're not using a mini band, we're doing our ab stretch. So here we go. Sink back. Drop the hips down, chest down to the floor. Come forwards. And stretch with the abs. Exhale twice. Up, back. I put the knees down. And then come forwards. Stretching through the stomach muscles. And remember, you're trying to stretch the abs, not compress your lower back. Sink into the floor. Remember, you're trying to keep everything in line. Little reminders. Remind myself. And rest there. Okay, next one, lunge and reach. Again, if you're using a mini band, you can use it. Or not, just one arm as you step back and reach up. Remember to push the hips through. And again, I put my knee on the floor for this. So you really emphasize the stretch here. If you want to hold this for a bit longer, let's do three exhales. Just a little bit longer on that stretch this time. Last time around. Stretch up. And check. Big reach. Sides. Yeah, three exhales this time. Remember to put the foot, the knee down to emphasize the stretch. Stay upright, push the hips through, squeeze the glutes on the same side that's down. Push through from the hips. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, so next one we're into our press up position, step and reach. So again, stretching out through the groin and then stretching out through the upper body. Same for both of us. So here we go, we can start early, a couple of extra moves, push the hips into the floor, exhale twice. Reach up. And then change. Big sides. Foot up by the hand. Push the hips into the floor. Reach up. Next 
such. Okay, our next one, we've got four left. So if you're using a mini band, then we're kicking out to the side, four, five, or six, then squat. If we're not using a mini band, we're doing our hamstring stretch and reach. Let's call this the giraffe stretch. Reach down, reach up. Like a giraffe, or a giraffe, if you know what a giraffe is. <laughs> Good, reach down, exhale twice. Reach up. I think I did that in a warm up on a, um, one of those race for life things at Clapham Common. I was like, do the giraffe. And I was this. And everyone just stood there looking at me going, what's a giraffe? I was like, oh, I'm sorry, it's a giraffe. And they all got it. Big stretch up. Exhale twice. And inside. Finish the stretch. And reach. And next one. So three left. So this time we're doing our hip stretch because if you're using a mini band, we're going to work the hips. Now we're going to stretch them out. I realised doing this, I get really good at talking to myself. Should have been a ventriloquist, then at least I've got something to talk to. <laughs> so we're doing our hip stretch <laughs> to the side, and yet yeah, talk nonsense as well. Get really good at that. Yesterday I should have been a woman, today I should have been a ventriloquist. I wonder what tomorrow's got in store. <sighs> yeah, drop it through the hips, use your own body weight, stretch out through the hips on the other side. Oh, she'll press up. Oh, body weight. Just use your body weight. Big stretch through these hips. Great stretch. Love it. Finish the move. And next. So two left. And a slightly extended session. Okay, so if you're using a mini band around the ankles, then I'll kick back. So it's four, five, or six. Four, five, or six. And then one squat. So if you're doing the bodyweight version, feet nice and wide. Stretch. Again, holding this one for three. Drop, reach, and squat through. Remember when you come up, you're trying to push your hands back as you come up and through, okay? Don't worry if your hands are up here, after a while they will come back here as you get better at this. I think the first time I did this, I was back here. <laughs> and now I can almost get my back straight. So it does work. I don't just do it for my own entertainment. <sighs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Three breaths at each one to sink. Drop, reach, push those hands back. Drop. Push. Uh, 
That's good. And our last one is our racing pigeon pose. So this time, remember, bring the hips right underneath the chest. Oh, sorry, the knee right underneath the chest. So again, if you've been using the mini bands, you can work the glutes. And now we want to stretch them. Okay, if you need to do the old thing, let's do this one. Just body weight. So remember, knee underneath the chest, nice and high. Sink back into this. Try to keep the head and spine, neck and leg in line. So don't look up, go down, just look forwards. Three exhales. So I was going to say, if you are a lazy stretcher after you've done fizz, and we pretty much all are, if you're only going to do one stretch, do this one. Okay? That's good. One and one more on each side. Move and rest. Well, now this morning, folks, hope you enjoyed that. And you're now fully limber, fully uh, stretched out, and mobile, your mobility is better. Hope you have a great weekend. And there's always reasons to be cheerful. It's Saturday. We nearly got rid of January, which is a crap month. February only has a couple of weeks in it anyway. And uh, the rugby's back on. <laughs> always reasons to be cheerful. Have a great weekend, folks, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.